the universe's most extreme stars just got a little bit more unexpected and mysterious. Scientists were astounded when they witnessed a dead neutron star with one of the most powerful magnetic fields in the cosmos unexpectedly spring back to life. The reactivation of this highly magnetic neutron star, or magnetar, doesn't conform to the current understanding of these exotic celestial objects. Hello and welcome to my channel Beyond Earth, your portal to the cosmos. If you're as fascinated by the universe as we are, hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing crew of space enthusiasts. So, are you ready? Let's set course for the heart of this stellar mystery. Before we dive into the mystery, let's talk stellar evolution. When a giant star, several times the mass of our sun, reaches the end of its fuel reserves, it goes out in a bang, a colossal explosion called a supernova. This stellar fireworks show leaves behind a compressed core, a remnant so dense that it defies imagination. Depending on the original star's mass, this leftover core can become either a neutron star or a black hole. Neutron stars are exactly what they sound like. Incredibly dense spheres about the size of a city, but containing more mass than our entire sun. How is this possible? We all know that atoms are made up of neutrons, protons, and electrons. However, an atom is 99.99999% empty space. If all the empty spaces in atoms of Earth were to be removed, Earth would be the size of a football stadium. During a supernova, the intense pressure inside the star crushes together every proton and electron, combining them into neutrons. The rapid core collapse also causes the neutron star to greatly increase its rate of rotation, just like an ice skater drawing in their arms to increase their spin, but on a vastly greater scale. This means some newly formed neutron stars can spin as fast as 700 times per second. The collapse of this stellar core has another consequence. The magnetic field lines of the dying star are squashed together, causing the strength of the magnetic field to intensify. As a result, some neutron stars have magnetic fields that are a quadrillion, that is one followed by 15 zeros, times more powerful than the magnetic field of the sun. This qualifies these neutron stars for their own category, magnetars. The detection of radio wave pulses from magnetars is incredibly rare. With XTEJ1810, 197 being just one of only a handful of known magnetars to produce them. This celestial oddball, located around 8,000 light years away, was first seen emitting radio waves in 2003. But then, this magnetar fell silent for over a decade. But in 2018, it did something completely unexpected. It began emitting a series of strange radio signals. But what made these signals so strange? Most magnetars are known to emit polarized light, light with waves orientated in one particular direction. However, light from this magnetar is circularly polarized. This is not only unexpected, it's also totally unprecedented. Imagine a spiral staircase, that's kind of how these radio waves were twisting and turning in a specific way. A phenomenon that has left astronomers baffled. To know more about circular polarization, check out the video from UCLA Physics Video, which I have linked in the description. So how did we pick up on this anomaly? Astronomers rely on powerful radio telescopes scattered strategically across the globe, acting as a giant cosmic ear. These telescopes work tirelessly, scanning the vast expanse of space for faint whispers from distant galaxies, pulsars emitting rhythmic radio waves, and of course, unusual signals from enigmatic objects like magnetars. In this case, the University of Manchester's 76-meter Lovell Telescope at the Jodrell Bank Observatory and Muriang CSIRO's radio telescope at Parks, New South Wales, picked up the unique signature of XTEJ1810 197's strange radio emissions. Now, the million dollar question. What's causing this bizarre phenomenon? The scientists have a few intriguing theories, each attempting to explain the origin of these unusual radio signals. One possibility is a sudden shift in the magnetar's already incredibly strong magnetic field. 
Imagine a giant, invisible magnet experiencing a sudden jolt, causing its lines of force to twist and realign in a dramatic fashion. This shift, scientists theorize, could be responsible for the emission of the circularly polarized radio waves. Another theory suggests there is a superheated plasma above the magnetar's magnetic pole, which is acting like a polarizing filter. How exactly the plasma is doing this is still to be determined. The researchers hope that continued observations of XTEJ1810 197 will help provide insights into a range of extreme, powerful, and unusual magnetar-related phenomena, such as plasma dynamics, bursts of X-rays and gamma rays, and potentially fast radio bursts. So, what do you think, space explorers? What could be causing the strange radio signals? Share your theories in the comments below, and let's discuss. And if you want to stay up to date on all things space, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss a launch.